Welcome back, troglodytes, to Would You Rock or Not, Fender Friday Edition. Well, big news from the 2019 NAM show for Fender, they're releasing another series just like the Parallel Universe guitars from last year. Now, just as a quick recap on those, they released nine guitars that kind of blended their existing guitars, as well as introduced a new body shape called the Meteora. The most memorable ones, in my opinion, besides the Meteora, were definitely the Stratocaster Telecaster and the Les Paul Telecaster. But this year, they're planning to bring five new models out in March, April, May, July, and August, and this time, they're made in Mexico, so that means they're going to be a lot cheaper than the 2000 retail of last year's series. So let's start with the first one coming out in March. This is what is going to be called the Fender Powercaster. This one's kind of like a Fender Jazzmaster, except for you don't have the Jazzmaster pickups anymore. You've got a P90 in the neck and a humbucker in the bridge. And your controls also lay outside of the pick guard. Now, as a primarily Gibson guy, I can testify to the power of the P90 humbucker combination in a guitar. It really does give you a lot of tonal diversity here, but personally, besides having a cool roasted maple neck, the Powercaster doesn't do much for me aesthetically. These will be retailing at $900 with the specs as seen here on the screen. Number two coming out in April is the Fender 66. That's kind of a cool name right there, but look at this thing. This is an amazing monstrosity. It's got like the two neck pickups to a Telecaster going on, the super lipstick vibe, and then a humbucker in the bridge. <laughs> Match that with a trem unit and like a jazz bass layout. And it gets the jazz bass layout because that's where the body comes from. It's just slightly smaller than normal. And I love it when they do things like that, just a slightly smaller version of something that already exists. But hey, now it's a bass in guitar format. I would definitely like to check out one of the 66s. These ones are also on pre-order at $900 and have the following specs. Number three coming out in May was probably the first one that caught my eye that made me want to talk about this series. We have the return of the Meteora. But this time, it's completely different. If we go from the alternate reality series back to the 2018 Parallel Universe series, you can see it was more of like a Telecaster layout. They had the Tele neck pickup and the Tele bridge. They had the nice black block inlays, which were kind of controversial. And that whole butterscotch finish. It seems this year Fender kind of readjusted this guitar based on the complaints or criticisms that were posted online. They did away with the block inlays, ditched the maple fretboard for a Pal Faro, and they offered it in three different finishes. Candy Apple Red, Lake Placid Blue, as well as Surf Green. Which all three are completely different from the original Meteora design, but look, it's a humbucker humbucker setup now, and it has a string through design. So despite being the same body shape, it's still completely different, which I think is an interesting take on the Meteora. It also now has more of like a Les Paul layout where it's toggle switches, but then they have two volumes for your neck and bridge pickup and a master tone. But here's something you might not see at first glance, and I'm really glad I watched a video on this one because I missed it too. Fender had a design complication where they couldn't decide, should we line up the volume pots with how it's laid out? So neck pickup here, so neck volume here, bridge pickup here, bridge volume there, or should we reverse it since a lot of people like to do volume swells on their bridge pickup? So since they couldn't make up their mind, they installed this little button right here that's almost invisible that will switch what ones it controls. So, if you're a neck pickup guy, you can leave it in the regular configuration, or if you need that bridge pickup volume easy to control while playing, it's there, it's an option for you. That was really interesting to me. People ask for a cheaper Meteora, these are running $1,000 new on pre-order with the following specs. Number four coming out in July is the return of the Electric 12. 
We learned about the history of the original failed Electric 12 in this episode of Fender Friday. And honestly, at first glance, this just looks like a pretty much tried and true reissue of that guitar, except for one thing. Instead of your chicken head selector knob type thing going on, they just have a three pickup selector. An electric 12 string guitar has a very niche market as far as who's actually going to buy these, so I thought it was very interesting to see them bring this out. These are also available at $1,000 new with these specs. But this next one blew my mind. Coming out in August has to be one of the coolest guitars I've seen be released in a while. The Tenor Telly. Obviously, that's a cool name, the TT sound there. But bringing back the tenor guitar. Now, if you don't know what that means, it's essentially a four string guitar that was initially developed in the 1920s by Gibson as well as Martin. And the original purposes for those is to give them to baritone banjo players so they wouldn't have to like learn guitar and they could just, you know, back up a guitar already knowing what they know. Now apparently, a lot of people have been picking these things up recently and making music with them because they love doing all the different alternate tunings. You have quite the wide variety of tenor guitars offered by Eastwood, but it was interesting to see Fender do this on a Telecaster. Now as I just told you in like the history of it, these are mainly vintage guitars. I talked about some tenor Gibsons in this Would You Rock or Not episode, but I love them not because I've ever actually played a tenor guitar, but they're just so freaky looking. I love that short little neck pickup. It just kind of looks like a dude with his teeth knocked out or something. There's something really appealing to me about the four string tenor telly. I would definitely love to do a review on one of those. For some reason, these aren't listed on Guitar Center's website like all these other ones were, but they're reported to be listed at only $499, so that's like half as expensive, so you just might see that review. So that brings us to the end of Fender's new Alternate Reality series. Personally, at this time, I'm having a really hard time distinguishing between the terminologies of last year's Parallel Universe and then this year. It's going on the same vibe with alternate reality, but I'm sure I'll mess them up if I ever have to talk about them again. But are you sad that there's only five this year instead of nine? Do you think these are better this year, or did you prefer last year's offerings? Personally, after the initial rush, I'm left a little bit disappointed, I think, because as a traditional guitar player, you really only have three new options to choose from, and the Meteora is kind of a repeat, but a welcomed one. The 12 and 4 string definitely aren't for everyone, but hey, it'll get people talking. But now that we know about them, let's go ahead and hear a few of them. <laughs> Question left, would you rock a Fender alternate reality guitar or not? Tell me which one is your favorite down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.